Hi friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to show how to share purchases with family on iPhone and iPad. Do you want to share some Apple purchases with your family members or perhaps you want to let them make purchases using your credit card? If so, you will be super interested to try out Apple's family sharing feature that lets you share purchase apps with multiple users at the same time and you can do it all right from your iPhone or iPad. That's all being said, it's time to learn how to share purchases with family on iPhone and iPad. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. First and foremost, make sure to set up family sharing and add the people to your family group before you can share purchases with them. To get going, head over to the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. In the settings menu, tap on your Apple ID name located right at the top. This will take you to your Apple ID settings menu. Here, tap on the family saving option located just above the list of all of your linked devices. Here, you will find all the people you have added to the family group. If you don't see anyone here, make sure to add members first before you continue then scroll down and tap on purchase sharing located under the more to share section next you will be introduced to purchase sharing and your apple id email address will be shown as the account that will be used for sharing purchases you have the option to use a different account if needed then tap continue in this step, you will be introduced to shared payments. The default payment method that's linked to your Apple account will be used for purchases made by your family members. Tap on continue again. Next, you will be prompted to inform the people in your family group that you are sharing purchases. Then tap on send a message to let them know. It's worth pointing out that if you ever change your mind regarding sharing your purchases, you can do so from the purchase saving menu. And if you just want to stop sharing your purchase apps with other people but keep using the shared payment method, you can disable the share purchase with family toggle. But if you want to completely turn this feature off, you can tap on stop purchase sharing. By now, you should have set up purchase sharing on your iPhone or iPad provided you followed all the steps correctly. Do know that any user you add to your family group from now on will have immediate access to your purchase apps with family sharing support for free. In addition to this, they will also be able to access your subscriptions that support family sharing like Apple Music, Apple TV+, Apple Arcade, ADC. With all of that being said, don't forget that your payment method will be charged if anyone in your family group installs a paid app. However, if you have a child in your group, you can enable Ask to Buy to make sure they have your permission before making a purchase on the App Store. That's pretty much it. So that's how you can share purchases with family on iPhone and iPad. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy iPhone and iPad hacks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.